it's Jen, the Chronic Health Advocate. Today as part of our fundraising series, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, pros and cons of having an event as part of your fundraising for your project. Stay tuned. It's Jen again, um, also known as the Chronic Health Advocate. As you may know, I come to you from the parent, uh, patient, and the professional perspective. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, fundraising, which I have a number of videos that are covering such topic. Um, usually this would be for if you have a chronic health condition and you need to raise funds for your uh, medical equipment. We've raised a lot of money for wheelchair vans and renovations, um, those sorts of things. Or it could be that you're seeking treatment and maybe you have to go somewhere and need to raise some money to do so. So as part of the video series, I wanted to discuss the pros and cons of having an event as part of your fundraising uh, project. So as I've mentioned in other videos, you're probably going to raise money through multiple means um, rather than just try to raise it all through one and over a period of time. So one of the things you may consider is having an event in um, regards to raising money for that. So when I say an event, what I mean is something that you've organized. Um, you, you could also have an online event, but for this purpose, I'm just talking about an event somewhere where everyone comes together. So it could be a dinner. It could be, we had a dinner theater for hours. Um, could be a movie night, um, an auction, silent auction, live auction, um, those sorts of um, a dance, those sorts of things, uh, what I would consider an event or could be a games night or something like that. Um, so, oh, dog is barking. I have to retrieve the dog. All right, bye. I'm never going to get through this video. The first video I took, I had a big glop of lipstick on my teeth. So I'm redoing this video but my dog is like up and about and she's clickety clacking and scratching at the door. And so maybe I should just do the one with my teeth and just upload that or I'll just jump right in. Just ignore the dog. Okay. So if you're planning an event for your fundraiser, there are some pros and cons to consider. Um, one of the biggest pro is that an event is fun. Um, it brings everybody together to a specific location for a, um, a mutual cause and that really gets the word out there for what you're doing and um, yeah and obviously you can uh, the goal is to raise funds in doing so um, however I do have some cons to consider with an event um, one of the big things is getting people to attend what it is you're having and depending on who your demographic is, if there you have a lot of like parents uh, such as like I do in my social group, busy with kids, with taking them to dance competitions, hockey competitions, skating competitions, classes and whatnot, running them around activities, uh, those parents plus their there are, many of them are working, they're very, very busy and their time is limited to get to such things. So depending on what your event is and when it is, it may be difficult to get them there. Um, the other thing is uh, with the time of year, summer can be really awful. End of summer, we tried to do an event in the summer. We had to scrap the whole thing. We just couldn't get people around. They were taking advantage of the nice warm weather. So. Um, the time of year commitments can be hard to get people there for that. Um, often there's also a cost to rent the venue and you can have a lot of upfront costs on what you're doing. So if you're, we were considering having a games night, 
didn't have the materials and equipment we would need to do the games night, we would have had to have rented them from somewhere. I didn't want to get into the, um, the hassle or the commitment of committing funds before the fundraiser for that. Um, obviously your venue, there can be a cost for that. Although a lot of places you can get decreased costs or decreased prices if you're like booking a church or some type of community hall or something and tell them or school, tell them what it's for and you can usually get a good rate or sometimes for free. So there are those um, cons. One of the other biggest cons is that it's very time consuming, events are. So if you have your heart set on doing something specific, make sure that you have enlisted a lot of help to help with that. And now I'm gonna focus. Um, the other thing that I would suggest highly if you are planning on doing something like this is to see if you have any service groups in your area that can help with um, putting it together. A lot of them will basically run something for you. So find out if there are groups in the area who have helped other um, so nonprofits or service groups who have helped other causes. So if you have a community that there's barbecues and dinners and things going on, or just certain other events, breakfasts, whatnot, um, find out who's running those and if they would consider doing something similar for you. Uh, the benefits to that is their experience. They've done it before, so they usually know if it's something with food, how much food to bring in. They know what the costs or going to be for that, they'll also know roughly, if you know how many people you're gonna get there, what the profit could be with that. Um, they'll also know how to book the hall. Like They're just very experienced with those things. And that's part of their mandate, if they're a service group, is to give back to the community and help those sorts of things, or help with those things. So they're usually very happy to help with a good cause that they um, feel they can with their services. Um, and if you do start something, um, just keep in mind that it's, if, if it's not working out and, and we had that happen with a few of our things that we, uh, started up, if it's not working out, then feel free or feel, uh, don't feel like you're failing. Um, be okay with scrapping the plan entirely or adapting it. Maybe it's just not working that time of year or whatever it is that you can't get people there. A lot of people want the option or would prefer the option if they can't get to something to just have one of those um, online payment pages that they can go, such as GoFundMe, to transfer you money or to send you money by some other means, e-transfer something. Because it's they want to support, but they're just not capable of doing so. Dog's back. So those are my tips and advice uh, for events. If you would like to, um, you should subscribe so that you can get information on other fundraising um, activities. Now I have the cat. Oh, it's like crazy here. But look, no lipstick on the teeth. Um, so subscribe to that. I'm also available for consulting with your projects, um, whether it be help with your fundraising or your disability application or whatever that is for your chronic health needs. And yeah, stay tuned. We'll talk to you again with some good advice. Um, leave me a comment. Thanks. Bye.